Hey everybody, my name is Lisa and I'm with Lisa Maria County and I am so excited to be here with y'all today to give you clarity on your numbers, aka your money. Um, for those of you who don't know me, again, my name is Lisa Robinson. I am the owner and founder of Lisa Marie Accounting, um, and I'm also known as the Sassy Southern Accountant. Um, and what I do is I help online entre women entrepreneurs, excuse me, um, take the chaos out of their numbers. I help show them um, how to budget, to pay expenses, pay themselves, pay for taxes, and I show them how numbers can be sexy, because yes, I think they can be sexy. Um, and today, what I want to do is I want to give you some clarity on your numbers, um, aka your money, um, so that you can get in the right direction and have that chaos be taken out of those numbers, because no one likes chaos, right? So what I'm going to talk about is the three things I'm going to discuss today would be, um, it's going to be number one, um, basically why should you, um, as a new entrepreneur or as an entrepreneur, care about your numbers. Um, I'm also going to discuss some products that will help you, um, and then I'm going to kind of go over what you can, what you should look for when you go to hire out if you're not ready to hire out, because there's some things that are really important. I think that you should look for when you're looking at an accountant um, or someone to help you with your books and your numbers. So um, we're going to get started. So one of the things that um, I, one of the reasons why I really think it's important for you to um, know your numbers or why it's just important for any entrepreneur to know their numbers is because basically, think of it this way, um, when you take care of a tree or a plant, the roots of that plant and tree, if you don't um, water it and nurture it, what happens to the plant? It dies. Well, it's the same way with your business. If you think of your business as the root, as a tree or a plant, the root of your business is your numbers. Excuse me. And if you're not taking care of those numbers, eventually your business will die. Okay, there, I said it. <laughs> and I don't want your business to die, and you don't want your business to die, because that's the reason why you're here, right? You're here because you want to grow your business, and, and you want to have freedom, and you want to have money, and you want to be able to do the things that you want to do. And so you have to be able to take care of those numbers. Um, and then another reason is because, I mean, think about it. If you don't know your numbers, how do you know how much you can invest? How much do you, how do you know how much you can pay yourself? And when I mean know your numbers, I don't mean just know the total amount coming in and the total amount going out. What I mean is all of your numbers, knowing exactly where the money's coming from, when it's coming in, how much is going out and where is it going? You know, how much are you paying yourself? How much are you paying to Dropbox? How much are you paying to your coach? How much are you paying for website design? Exactly where is it going? And knowing all of those numbers are really, really important because if you don't and you don't know that bottom line then you don't know what you can invest in you don't know um, how much money you should be putting up for taxes you don't know um, how much you can pay yourself if you can pay yourself and help be honest you don't even know if you have enough money to pay your bills right much less your business expenses not even counting the personal expenses so knowing those numbers helps with all of that um, so I really think that Bottom line, not knowing your numbers or knowing your numbers, it can make or break you. So if you want to get set up right, I think that it's really, really important for you to know all of your numbers so that you can head in the right direction and you know where that money's going and you don't have the chaos, you don't have the headache, um, you don't have the floundering thought of, oh shit, this bill is due, where's my money? It's gone. And it's gone all of a sudden because you had some money coming in from whatever clients and then you turn around and you spent it, but you really weren't sure what was going on at the time. So you spent it, but you should probably spent it in the wrong direction. So now this bill's due and you don't have the money. We've all been there. Um, so knowing your numbers and all of them kind of help you, basically help you see, okay, this is coming in. This is what's coming up. This is where this money needs to go. This leaves me this to reinvest or this leaves me to pay myself. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, at any time, you know, you can message me. It's um, and I'm I'm an open book. I'll answer any questions. <laughs> um, so <coughs> excuse me. The second thing I wanted to talk about 
was the kind of products that you should use. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, or what products you can use if you're not ready to hire anyone. They'll at least get you started in the right direction. Um, and there are some that you can use. <coughs> Again, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, I've also checked on these products. These products are actually, um, are these softwares and apps are actually available um, in Canada and the U.S. And I know a couple of them are also available in the U.K. if there's anyone in the U.K. But I definitely know they're available in the U.S. and Canada because I double checked. Um, the first one is you need an accounting software, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I know most people, when they first start, or most entrepreneurs, when they first start out, they want to put everything on a spreadsheet. And if that works for you to begin with, then that's great. But I see a lot of issues with that because it's kind of hard for you to be able to see um, all your numbers in one place. And with a software, you have everything in one place. And, <clears throat> again, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, you have all your numbers in one place. And then you um, are able to see and analyze everything, if that makes sense, um, because it all comes in, again, into one place. Um, so a couple of the softwares that I think you should look at, especially just starting out, um, is Wave Accounting App. And again, it is available in Canada and the U.S. I double checked. Um, and then Zoho. And that's Z-O-H-O. -O, and that's also, a, that's available um, everywhere, pretty much. Um, Zoho starts out at $9 a month. Wave starts out free. I am certified in both, and those are two of the softwares that I recommend um, that I'm certified in. Another one that you could look at if you wanted to is FreshBooks. I'm certified in that one. It's not my ultimate favorite or one of my top favorite ones, the ones out of the ones I'm certified in, but FreshBooks is also available in Canada and um, the UK. It's just... If you compare it to a lot of the other softwares, it's not the most um, user-friendly when it comes to actually having someone help you with your books, okay? Um, and it doesn't do it in <clears throat> a quote-unquote accounting format to actually, where a lot of CPAs in the United States won't even do tax returns for entrepreneurs who use it. If that tells you, um, because um, they the balance they've had some issues with some of the reports, so it's not one of the top ones that I recommend. I recommend Zoho or Wave to start. The other two that I'm certified in is QuickBooks Online and Zero. Those, of course, all, are also available everywhere. Um, I'm looking at Sage, but it's also again not one of my favorite. Um, I think to start, especially when starting out, just to, again, make sure you're not spending so much money where you don't really need to, Wave Accounting or Zoho are a really good place to start because the max you'd spend per month on Zoho is $29. Um, that's USD dollars, so, but that's the max you'd spend. The middle one, which is really popular, is like $19. So it's really not bad. And again, Wave is free. Um, they both accept credit card payments. They both will save them. They both do recurring invoicing, which is really cool. Um, so um, both of them I really, really like. Um, and it helps you track your expenses. It'll help you, um, if you want to do invoices, you can do invoices, send them out, like I said. Um, and then um, later as you grow, you're also able to do payroll, which is really cool. It doesn't do it through that software, but it... Um, actually, you're able to integrate another software with it, but you have that capability. And for people who are wanting to grow and eventually have contractors or have employees later, having payroll is really important. So those are the two softwares that I would recommend at least look at. If you're to the point to where you think you need something bigger, then QuickBooks Online or Zero would be um, two to look at. I'm going to warn you, though. Um, QuickBooks Online and Zero. if you're not familiar with the accounting process um, as far as how it works in Canada and U.S., and you're not familiar with accounting terms, those are going to be more of a bigger pain for you than it's probably worth. You're probably going to want to get help, okay? Um, and I'm just being honest, and the reason why is because, especially QuickBooks, QuickBooks was set up for accountants so that accountants could do books for their clients. So even though they make QuickBooks online and it is somewhat more user friendly than um, the desktops versions. Oops, sorry, went black. 
um, my screensaver came in. Um, sorry about that. Um, so even though um, you, um, uh, even though you have know some of the stuff and all, if you accidentally make an error, um, it's a lot harder to actually correct and it's easier to mess it up. So I just want you to be wary of the um, of using QuickBooks Online or Zero without any assistance. Okay, um, just to be wary of this. But to like I said, two good ones to start off with, um, especially if you're beginning, is Zoho or Wave. Those are very um, user friendly. They're very you can they can basically walk you through. And of course, if you decide you still want help, I can help you with either one of those. Um, just going to put that out there because I am certified in all of them. So if you end up going to set it up and you have questions and you get stumped um, again. And you can ask me questions and, and, I'll, and I'll help you through that. Um, I'm going to give you two more apps that I really, really think are important that most people don't think of. Um, and these may not pertain to you and, and well, one of them may not pertain to you and one of them may, but um, just bear with me, okay? Um, the first one is Mile, M-I-L-E-I-Q. If you travel any whatsoever for your business, mm, excuse me. Um, this app, I highly, highly, highly recommend. It's not a totally free app, but um, I still recommend it. I use it. It runs in the background on my phone. It's available on an Android and an iPhone. It will not eat up all your data. Um, I don't have unlimited data. I share my data between my teenager, my teenage daughter, my husband, and me, and we don't run out of we don't run out of data with it. Matter of fact, the only time I've run out of data is when my daughter starts streaming YouTube at her school when she was in school, and I've had to block that to stop it. So that's pretty much the only time we've actually run out of data. So my mile IQ actually runs in the background at all times. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to actually hit start when you drive. You basically it it detects it because it's running, and then it pops up and it says you have. The this drive that you need to tell if it's business or personal and what it does is also available in Canada and the US and what it does is it automatically puts all this information on a spreadsheet your starting point your ending point and the number of miles calculates it up and it sends you in a nice spreadsheet at the end of each month it's really really cool um, and for those of you that would be interested I'm going to share with you a discount code um, you can download it for free at first. Um, the first 40 drives are free, so you can try it out and make sure it'll work for you. <clears throat> um, but if you decide you like it, after the first 40 drives, you would have to upgrade in order for it to track it. Um, but I want to give you this discount code because it'll give you, it's either 15 or 20% off. I get nothing out of it, um, but I'm, as an accountant, I'm able to pass this code on to people I think that can use it and utilize the app. And so I want to pass it on to you. Um, the, the code is L as in Lisa, R as in Robinson, OB, 591A as in Apple. So again, the discount code is L. R-O-B 591-A is in Apple. And if you go into the in-app purchases and say you want to upgrade um, to the premium version and you put in that discount code, it will give you 15, it's either 15 or 20 percent off um, of the um, cost. And I promise you it's worth it. I, again, I don't get anything from it, um, but it's a really cool app. You don't have to worry about writing stuff down. You don't have to worry about um, hitting the start and then hitting end for it to track it. It automatically does it, and it will not eat up your data. I promise. I don't have unlimited data, and I keep it on at all times. Um, the second app, which I think will be should be utilized by everybody, is called Cam Scanner, and that's C A C A M is in Mary Scanner, and it's an app. It's totally free. It's an app available on Android or iPhone. I think it's important because it helps you um, because you shouldn't take pictures of your receipts with your camera phone because it doesn't put it in a PDF. So if you go into this app and you pull it up as a PDF, or excuse me, pull it up and take a picture of your, you know, those thermal receipts or any receipt really, 
um, take a picture of it and then say you want to save it as a PDF. You can then save it as a PDF and put it in the cloud and save it and you have all your receipts saved in one um, area. And then I'm going to be honest, you don't have to keep the paper receipt, which is even better. I'm really big on saving all the receipts and having them in the cloud so that way um, they're organized and if you need to find one, you can find one. Um, and Cam Scanner provides a way to do that, especially with those thermal receipts and ones you can't, you know, um, I have a printer scanner all in one, but for people who don't, um, that gives you a real easy way. And I'm going to be honest, I use that for all of my thermal receipts instead of having getting up get up and go over to my printer. I use it just right here, take a picture, boom, within two minutes it's done. It's really, really easy. Um, so those are the things that I think you could, that I think you should at least start um, using, you know, to kind of help you get started and get that chaos out of those numbers so that you're started, um, set up right. Um, and then um, the last thing I want to discuss is what you should look for when you go to hire an accountant. And I think this is really important. Um, and the reason being is because I've had so many people that I've talked to who have said, um, you know, I didn't have anyone I could talk to. They weren't available. They were all in brick and mortar. And then when I go to ask questions, they're not there to answer them or they're looking at me like I'm crazy. So I think it's really important that you make sure you list out what you're wanting, what you're looking for. And when you look, when you go to talk to someone, ask them, you know, how often will I be in contact with you? How often can I expect to communicate with you? Um, what lines of communication am I allowed to communicate with you if I have questions? Um, and, you know, then also ask them, are they familiar with working with online entrepreneurs? You would be surprised most brick and mortars are not. Um, brick and mortar accountants, they're not. Um, and also ask them if they're familiar with working with, um, of course, your field of expertise, you know, your what you're what you do, web designer, MLM, what, whatever it is, ask and don't be afraid to ask if they're not willing to answer your questions. As far as I'm concerned, you need to turn around. And you need to go the other way. Um, so I think that that's really important. Another thing you want to ask them is how they charge, if they're hourly or flat fee. There are still some accountants who charge hourly. I do not. I'm flat fee. Um, I do have. Um, uh, capabilities where my clients are able to talk to me. Um, they have unlimited access with to me via text, messenger, and email. So, um, and, and within reason, of course, but they know that they have a way to contact me if they have questions. Um, and then last but not least, but make sure the person, like I told you, is going to answer your questions, but make sure they care that they're asking you questions about your business and about you so that they understand more of what you're needing. Um, I really think that's important. I think because as online entrepreneurs, we are our business and our business is us. I think they're intertwined because they make us. Um, and just go with your gut. OK, I mean, just, you know, talk to them and, and see how you feel. And if it feels like a good fit, great. But if it doesn't and you don't think they're willing to answer your questions and all, then I would just go somewhere else. I mean, that's just that's plain and simple. I don't know how how much to do for that. Um, so those are the three th different things I wanted to talk to you today in the workshop and, and just getting some clarity on your numbers. But I do have a bonus for you that I want kind of bonus tip I wanted to give you. Um, so, of course, everybody knows I'm adamant about setting up accounts, right? Setting up your bank account, your business bank account, and having that money separated, okay? If you haven't done that, please go do it, okay? Make it a huge note. In order to be serious about your business, your funds need to be separated. Go ahead and do it. Just stop what you're doing. Make a big, huge note. and I'll even wait, <laughs> but go ahead and do it, okay? Um, so, I'm really big about that. But after that, um, I'm kind of going to give you two bonuses, really, um, or bonus tips. Um, the first one is when you do that, make set up a bon uh, set up a tax savings account, okay? And this doesn't matter where you're at because plain and simple, regardless of where you live, if you expect um, or want your business to make money, you have to pay the tax man taxes, right? Plain and simple. No other way to look at it. So set up a tax savings account. And then money that comes in off the top, taking anywhere from, you know, 8 to 15 percent, depending on where you live and the percentages and all that. Um, but take about that. I normally say average of 10 percent because you're doing it off the top on gross. So we're going to say 10. 
So take 10% off the top. So if you can get $200, take $20, move it to the savings. If you get If you get paid um, $300, you move $30, you know, et cetera, right? Um, so that um, you're able to, and I think I just realized those numbers are wrong, but you get the point. Um, so that you can actually move that money off the top, if that makes sense, okay? And the reason why you're doing that is because that way the money's moved, you don't have to worry about, oh, shit, where, you know, all of a sudden you made $40,000 and now you have to pay your tax man money, regardless of where you live, and you don't have the money to pay it. Whereas if you take it off the top now and you're gradually saving, then you actually are able to have the money whenever tax time comes and you have to pay those taxes. You don't have to worry about where to come from. Okay, so that's my bonus tip number one. Set up a tax savings account. I promise you it will save you a world of headache. It will save you a world of chaos. You won't have as much chaos because you won't be stressing over, you know, all of a sudden, because you want your business to make money. So you won't be stressing on where in the hell you're supposed to come up with this money to pay these taxes because you already have it, right? Bonus number two is I want you to realistically analyze your numbers. And when I mean analyze your numbers, I mean analyze how much money you have coming in, how much money is going out for your business expenses, and then I want you to set up realistically something to pay yourself, okay? Because if you pay yourself, you're going to get, it's a boost, right? And even if it's small, okay, even if it's just $50 a week, you're paying yourself something, and then gradually you can increase it. Of course, I recommend it be more, but it just depends on where your income level is. And if you're not making income yet, then okay, you can't do it yet. But once you have that income coming in, I'm serious, y'all, even if it's $25 a week or $50 a week, set up something realistically, okay, and pay yourself some, the same amount each week so that you have something consistently coming in. And then gradually analyze it at the end of each month as you grow or in the 90 days, every 90 days when you grow, and then gradually increase it. It's really important to pay yourself something consistently and just not be transferring money back and forth. Because again, transferring money back and forth, you have no idea what the hell is going on with your money because you can't really see it. With your paying yourself something consistently, you're able to see the you're reaping the rewards. You're reaping something from it. Um, and I really, really think that that's really important. Um, so I hope that us talking about um, uh, what to look for when you're hiring an accountant and some softwares that you can use um, that now to get started and then um, why it's so important to know your numbers and get that stuff set up has helped you at least a little. <laughs> um, and of course, um, if you have any questions, I am here to help you. I want to let you know that you can find me on my Facebook business page, um, which is, of course, facebook.com um, slash uh, the Sassy Southern Accountant. Um, you also can find me in my Facebook group, and that is um, Financially Balanced. Um, and I do tips and tricks um, to help you get your numbers out of chaos. And we have uh, Money Madness Monday, where we talk about everything and anything money, uh, where, regards to money. And um, I do Facebook Lives. I'm also going to be doing workshops in there. And I would love to have you in there. Again, that's Financially Balanced. Um, and then, of course, if you have questions, you can message me on Facebook. Um, in Messenger, or you can email me, and my email address is um, contact, C O N T, well, excuse me, I'm sorry, Lisa, L I S A, at Lisa Marie Accounting.com. Um, so I hope that y'all found this helpful and it gets you started in the right direction to get those numbers out of chaos. And I am here and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.